is so cool. So this is Taco Tuesday Girl. Hey, I know her. Yeah. Um. This is not boring. Um. I agree with that. Um. My long form unedited conversation. I love it. Welcome back to Insanely Chill, everyone. I'm joined today by my guest, Brittany Broski. Thanks so much for joining me for the first time on this show. Hey, it's a pleasure and a half. A pleasure and a half? <laughs> a pleasure and a half. Oh, okay. Just like is a the one, half, I mean, like, it's, it's like a pleasure and also a half. Uh, like or is it a, a pleasure a and a half? It's like, like a pleasure and a half, Chubb. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Got a half chub under the desk here. Yeah. Thanks. Um, <laughs> Got to break in the new set. <laughs> Christen it. We're off to an awesome start. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. And apparently you have a new show coming out. Hey, listen. Here's the thing. Got a new podcast. Why don't you tell me about it? So it is- Why don't you uh, do a plug and a half for me? I'll do, I'll do a plug point five. <laughs> this is- uh, It's basically looks just like this. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> It's called Chill Insane. It's called, it's called, called Chilling it with Insane People. And um, it's just me. <laughs> chilling with Insane People? <laughs> I just have Brooke and Connor on all the time. Um, it is called The Broski Report with Brittany Broski. And it is like 1950s news themed. Okay. And uh, each week is going to be a State of the Union and Broski Nation, which is okay. my municipality. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So that's coming out and next it, week. Next week. Next week. Next week. Congrats. Wow. If you're watching this, wow. when if you're, you're watching this, yeah. the next week, that you can watch that. Yes. Yes. And those episodes will be weekly? Yeah, next week. Uh, next week. So tune in, guys. Uh, go subscribe right now. If, wow, thank you. I mean, is it, all, is it up? Is the RSS feed already up, maybe? Uh, uh, is it a separate YouTube channel? How is it working? Yeah, it's going to be a separate YouTube channel, which, honestly, to dive into the kind of dorkiness of it again, um, there's a new playlist feature on YouTube that y'all have actually enacted. On the TMG channel, there's a podcast yes. tab. Yes. And so it was a big thing of, um, I was talking to my team about it because my YouTube rep was like, we really recommend kind of doing this, playlisting it on the Britney Broski YouTube channel. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. Because the kind of MO of what y'all have done and what so many other like top creators have done is you make a separate channel yeah, and you monetize it that way. And what it kind of also just keeps it clean. And so I was like, I think I want to do that instead of the podcast tab. Because it makes sense for y'all to, you have so many different podcasts, go to the tab and there are all four or five, five, four. It's on that channel right now, four, I believe. Four. So that makes sense. For this, it would be just me. So I was like, yeah, that DC, that morning DC. Woo-hoo! <laughs> 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 um, Gut rot. Yeah, I think that's a better... By the way, we here at TMG love podcasting about podcasts. Yes. So that's what we're doing right now, and really I love relatable. it. I love people listening right now are like, I want to know more about podcast logistics. How about thumbnails? <laughs> yeah, about- yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Copyright claims. Exactly. Yeah. You have a YouTube rep? Tell us more about it. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> YouTube rep? Now, what the heck is that? <laughs> Playlists? Um, I think that's better because I think at the end of the day, like if you look back in two years, like having two YouTube channels that are successful is more valuable than having one i think i don't know but they're also i don't know how much i'm supposed to say about this but like they also I, i'm sure your youtube rep has said the same thing but they're like leaning very heavily into podcasts and very yeah yeah, yeah. they're like oh you guys matter we didn't realize yeah podcasts. you didn't matter before but you do now exactly yeah yeah well no i mean yeah that's basically they just like completely ignored podcasts before but now they're like oh wait this is like a thriving Form format of video. The podcast bubble is about to burst. By the yeah. way, yeah, everyone and their mother has a podcast, so it's like, damn, what's next? So you're saying wrong time. Wrong time. Like, too late. Yeah, now we're starting now we're all fans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for finally noticing. Now we're all fucked. Yeah. Thanks YouTube. Now I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Exactly. But I do care a lot. So go, please listen to my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's Cody Co endorsed. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm gonna listen to that shit. <laughs> On that commute. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Was that <laughs> <laughs> felt really disingenuous? I said that to him. Yeah, I'm gonna let me try it again. Let me try, let me try it again. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna listen to that. <laughs> okay, that was more believable. <laughs> that was more believable. Yeah, a little more believable. Okay, no, nah, I'm definitely gonna listen to it. I'm th- definitely, definitely, yeah, yeah, definitely. No, I'm definitely gonna listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Smirking. <laughs> um, what are what's what's this? Oh, uh, <laughs> hold on. Uh, 
Uh, Zach, can we pull up the image, please? Oh. Thank you. What uh, the fuck are you talking? <laughs> Wait, what did you, where did you post this? So I think I. <laughs> before you get it, Brittany, we want to know specifically which felonies you would commit. Which felony? Okay, so for reference, I did post this on my uh, Instagram story. Okay, on when? my Mark Zuckerberg's internet. For story. the audio listeners, what did you post? So uh, I posted on my story. I would commit multiple felonies to have even one bite of a Carolina barbecue pulled pork sandwich mm. right now. Mm. Now, ask me if I was drunk when I uh, posted this. <laughs> Were you drunk when you no. posted this? <laughs> <laughs> I was not. I just was really craving one. Because you know that. Have you ever been to North Carolina, South Carolina? Hey, I went to school in North Carolina. Is that where Duke is? Yeah. <laughs> Why do I think Duke is in like Vermont? No. <laughs> feels I like had it's no Durham, yeah, it feels right. like Durham it North Carolina. Carolina. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah. I used to live in uh, Vass, North Carolina. Not okay. important. No one cares. Vass? Va Vass. Vass. V A S S. Vag? <laughs> I used to live in Vag, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just right there in the kind of slit of the state. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, really bad humidity there. But, yeah. um, <laughs> Brittany, Sorry. Cody, please look under the desk. Uh, right now, we have a little surprise for you. It's just a dead pig. <laughs> so you're gonna have to shred this yourself. You get a car. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. What is the holy cow? Slow smoked goodness. Oh, it smells oh good. Oh my god. We went to Vag Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> and we picked I up could two. actually start sobbing crying right now. <laughs> this smells so fucking good. This this does. Uh, you uh, sent me a message that you were doing this on the way here, and on the way here yeah. I was like falling asleep. <laughs> like, dude, I'm so fucking hungry. All I want is like a Diet Coke and like a sandwich. And then that I played your audio message, and it was like, "Yo, by the way, we did a, we did this bit where we got these two por pulled pork sandwiches. Oh so if it smells like pork when you get here, and I was like, I can't wait to smell that. Pork. <laughs> I'm actually gonna like if if we can wrap the episode. <laughs> yeah, so this actually um, is it for this yeah, episode, this, we, and we all yeah. have you one guys too. got one too. <laughs> yeah, cheers, yeah. company card, baby. Hey, cheers. to to. Uh, <laughs> Cheersing pork. Cheersing pork. To Cheers pork. Cheers to pork, pork cheers. To Duke. To Duke. Is this the sauce looks good too? Mm. Oh my what sauce is this? Uh, I think it's a spicy Carolina sauce. Oh my barbecue God. sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know what? We can you know we can do some fancy editing here. Yeah. Unless we just want to leave this raw and cut just mukbang. I'm I so think people want to hear it. I'm so sorry, me. audio listeners. Oh my god. <laughs> can you show the camera too? Yeah. Uh, here's the Damn. Yeah. That's fucking phenomenal. Amazing. You guys, I'm never leaving. This is really, this is so touching. Wow. Wow, the, the bar, oh my God. Do you see Are what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm saying? There's something about, because Carolina barbecue has that like vinegary taste, mm -hmm. the way that Southern barbecue is more smoky. Mm -hmm. Damn, dude. So I'm a huge fan. Barbecue is my favorite genre of food. Really? You yeah, were so, smoking foods for a while, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, I still... Yeah, yeah. Put that shit in my pipe and smoke it. Smoking meat in your Venice apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors hate you. I I have two smokers. Really? Yes. So we got you're not. I joking. wasn't joking. No. He's, no, no, no. I real. I do. I was into it. Okay. Period. I was into it, and then I started, um, you know, training, and I was like, this isn't. I mean, like it. It's hard to. You know, it's hard to eat ribs three times a week it's and heavy. stay healthy. Yeah. It's very. It's, it's very heavy. Also, like when I gave up. Red, not gave up. I just stopped eating it. Red meat because it made me feel so like I need to take a nap. You can't take a nap every day. Mm -hmm. It's not good for you. Actually, I think that's how we're built. Have a little nap sometime. A Twenty minute. I think like we're actually our natural sleep cycle. I know this is so annoying for people that are like like you know people have that phobia of like eating sounds on the mic. Oh yeah. Sorry guys. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Um, I think that us we're built to have like a siesta. Yeah, I agree. In a non-funny way, like, the American work schedule is so not sustainable. Although, yeah. I mean, I, we go to, like, I feel like people go to Spain and they, like, make fun of, they're like, what the fuck? Everyone just, like, closes their stores at noon and they all go sleep for an hour, but yeah, it's... suicide rate is also, like, non-existent in Spain. Is it really? Yeah, in Europe, it's very, very low. It's the fucking siestas. It's all connected, I'm saying. But I think we're built to take a 20-minute nap. I think that's what it is. <laughs> I'm not built that way. I need to take a three-hour nap. Can you not do it? Mm-mm. 20-minute nap, it's like, I didn't even fall asleep. What's the point? I'm so you, tired. I know, but I almost feel like 
you don't, you don't even really fall asleep. It's like you get to this state of like relaxation and then you wake up. But for me, I like 20 minutes, I don't have to set an alarm or anything. I just, it happens. And then I wake up and I feel amazing. Well, you're also like, I don't know someone in better shape than probably you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like, pour barbecue sauce onto this. <laughs> Thanks. Guys, we're going to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Liquid IV. It's festival season and planning for faster, efficient hydration is essential. Liquid IV has you covered while you prep before and during Frank Ocean's terrible headlining set. <laughs> you can even use Liquid IV to recover after a long weekend. Not a long set in Frank Ocean's case. <laughs> Liquid IV hydrates two times faster than water alone with three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. My Ironman triathlon is right around the corner and my training has been optimized thanks to Liquid IV. And with 12 delicious and refreshing flavors, you can keep your hydration routine exciting. I've been loving all their flavors, but their watermelon flavor absolutely slaps. I love that flavor. Liquid IV offers three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks and is made with premium ingredients. Liquid IV, Liquid IV, Liquid IV. believes that equitable access to clean and abundant water is the foundation of a healthier world. They partner with leading organizations for innovative solutions to help communities protect both their water and their futures. To date, Liquid IV has donated over 39 million servings in 50 plus countries around the world. So grab your Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code INSANE at checkout. That's 20% off anything you order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code INSANE at liquidiv.com. Where'd you get oh, the DC? Ew. <laughs> well, you, get, you, you want one? Can I get a real C? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we have a. We have a Let's Coke. See if I can find a yeah. full-bodied Coke. We have a full-bodied Coke. We, I think wow. we might have a Coke Zero in that fridge. This is and then an a, we have a I'm Coke. telling you, dude. I literally I craved this, and I had a craving for um, a uh, funnel cake mm. a few weeks ago too. Mm -hmm. Damn. What do you bitches know about a funnel cake? But at a state fair. So should we like stab someone now that we like you said multiple <laughs> felonies, right? Multiple felonies. The do felonies, you require that? No, it would be probably like Grand Theft Auto or like. Something kind of like I would we get vote? charged with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. Thank you so much. No, that's not full. That's Coke Zero. <laughs> it's not full bodied. It's a light red. But that's fine. Damn. Oh yeah. That's gonna be one thumbs up. We should have riders for podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Just be that every time you go on, you fall asleep. A North Carolina pulled pork sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> or else I'm not showing up. That was. I'm gonna take that home with me. I should have probably done that too. Did you just slam the whole thing? It's gone, by the way. <laughs> Do we need to take a potty I'm break? I'm gonna fucking regret that in three <laughs> minutes. I have like horrible stomach problems. Have for like you know decades. IBS. I got tested for it. I don't have it, and I also got tested for like lactose intolerance, which I don't have. But I think it's the fact that I don't chew my food. I've been thinking about it a lot recently, and I think. It's because I take two, like I chew it twice and then I swallow it. That could be. So it's like still whole. But I think a lot of people suffer from this and they don't, like just it's. Fast eating. I just guess, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you no making idea things true, up. But I have a hunch that well, like in order to process food that you don't chew. By the way, if you know, if someone knows the science behind this, I'd love to know if I'm like way off the mark here. But I, it's probably harder for your stomach to digest food that's whole, right? I mean, yeah. That's why you chew it. Yeah. So every time I eat and I eat quick, I get this crazy gas. <laughs> what you're talking about? It's like up in your shoulder or something. Have you ever gotten that? Where you have gas so bad? It's no, like... it's in my ass. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I mean like gas moving around in your body that's so painful. I get that too. And then sometimes it comes out. Right. Of, you know, my mouth or my... Or my there you go. <laughs> I'm really sorry. It's your fault. Do we need to break? Yeah, I do it all again too. <laughs> no, I get it. I I uh, had the same thing. I went to a gastroenterologist and I was like, "Hey, something's up." And he tested me for everything, did all the panels and all that. And he was like, "I don't know what to tell you." <laughs> I was like, "I paid you so much money to tell me that." You got a bad gut. Yeah, you got. Hey, just don't eat that stuff. Yeah, yeah. gut health. You don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you should try some kombucha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, fuck you. God damn it. He's like, I love your videos, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> that actually, okay, not not TMI, but I was getting my legs waxed the other day okay. down in like downtown Burbank. Love Burbank. Very cute. And uh, I went in and this lady was like, 
talking to me and you know so what do you do like why are you in hollywood and i was like i, mean, I work in marketing i never say what i do <laughs> yeah she's like oh really what do you do i'm like oh, micro influencers like marketing she's like oh that sounds really stressful i was like you have no fucking idea <laughs> we're going back and forth whatever she finishes i walk out i'm paying and then someone's in the waiting room she goes Brittany recognizes me wants a picture i love your videos like she you're loves so my marketing she lo <laughs> and i was and this woman's standing right Brittany, there. my favorite micro influencer marketing <laughs> marketing person <laughs> and i was like fuck she knows i just lied for an hour straight and she went to go see the same woman and i was like okay bye I'm never coming back here again like that's so humiliating that's also hilarious because she then probably thought that you thought you were so famous that she, that she would know you if you said when really it's like you just don't want to talk about doing exactly yeah. as she's just like going to town on my leg hair I'm like yeah. I don't want to talk about what I do but she I was probably like oh what you think you're so you can't tell me what you really do because what you're like you're too famous you know I, I just like cringed myself out <laughs> I, I was like I I don't want to be here anymore but yeah I I've got, I get caught in lies like that all the time I'll lie to Uber drivers and then they'll be like TikTok I knew I recognized you and I'm like fuck I was just <laughs> lying to you for forty minutes on the way back from the airport wait so then how do they find out. Because I start talking about it. They ask enough questions where oh, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. how do you know so much about this? I'm like, I make videos. <laughs> get caught in a lie. Yeah, they're That's like, what kind of marketing? Yeah, exactly. And they get deeper and deeper micro-influencers. And then I'm like, I don't want to talk about like this Like small? Like just like short people? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh. You're like, yeah, have you heard of TMG? <laughs> <laughs> you would love this podcast. <laughs> have something you might love. So what else is up? <laughs> <laughs> um, We've lost all sandwich momentum. Yeah, that that uh, you know, like after you, you know, what else is up? after you eat turkey on Thanksgiving, you have take to take a nap. That's good. Um, I actually did want to talk. This was on there, but I wanted to talk to you about it, Coachella. Yeah, did you go? I did go. And that Frank set. I have words. Okay, have yeah, yeah, so I want to know from someone that was there. So we showed up um, to Frank. Like, I was there with um, Drew F. Wallow, who's, like, one of my besties. She's a fellow creator. And we were all there. And we had artist bands. And I was like, I feel rich and famous. Mm -hmm. Like, artist, like you can't tell me anything. Turns out it was right below artists. We, they, they wouldn't let us in the actual artist section. But we saw, like, Shawn Mendes, Camila Cabello. Oh, yeah, there's me crying. Um, and we walked by. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and we walked by a bunch of <laughs> <laughs> bad stomach gang. Look, let's go. Let's Adam go. Really the, the gas is starting. The gas is <laughs> really offensive. And so we uh, we show up 30, 40 minutes before 10. He's supposed to go on at 10. Yeah. We show up around like 920. We're waiting there. Oh, by the way, sorry to interrupt. Mm -hmm. But like, like the, you know, the closing set. You can't really, like, they show up at 10. You, you can't really, if you show up late, you have to do your set short. You have to cut your set short mm -hmm. because every minute you go over the curfew find you, is, yeah. like, $10,000 that they'll yeah. find you or something like that. So, like, a lot of artists just eat it. But, like, normally they go on, like, within 30 minutes of 10. Right. And, and even then, it's, like, that's disrespectful. 30 minutes late to your Coachella set? Like, that's what you're there for. Yeah. You know, like, you're there all weekend. That's what, anyway, we show up, like, 30, 40 minutes early. 10 o'clock comes and goes. It's now 11. Like, he's supposed to wrap at, like, what, 11.30? It's 11. He comes on, and for the first 20 minutes, it's just, like, dancers circling because the tea was he was supposed to have this, like, kind of floating stage with an ice rink on it. Yeah, by the way, I was texting someone that... Yeah, you have the inside scoop. No, just... Working I just, it? like, I, I, I've been working with this uh, guy. He's been, like, mixing my music, and he was... We were talking about a song that I was making, and he was... He was like, oh, by the way, I can't send you the project right now. Like, I'm on my way to Coachella. I'm supposed to ice skate around Frank Ocean. And I was like, a word? What? <laughs> and he was like, it's a long story. And it was in a group text with another guy. He's like, it's not a fucking long story. You're yeah. going to ice skate around Frank. Frank Ocean has ice skaters on his stage. Just say and that. And you're one of them. <laughs> but then I was like, but how? I don't understand. Do you, are you a trained skater? Turns out he's like really good at hockey. Oh, period. So he like, he like auditioned for this, got it. They like, you know, Rehearsed it, trained for it, or whatever. And then the day of, he pulled it. Yeah. So, like, first of all, what the fuck? Second of all, they are scrambling. Like, there's people on stage all while we're, while we're waiting. There's people on stage, lighting guys, they're whatever. <coughs> Ladders, like, really ugly. We can see all of it. And everyone's like, what the fuck? 
well, these dancers come out and they just like are walking in a circle for 20 minutes. And we're all like, you know, they're dizzy. <laughs> you know, they're pissed off and dizzy. And then uh, he comes out finally, does a DJ set, has someone else do a DJ set, lip syncs to like three of his songs, sings two songs live and then says, that's it for me. My set was cut. They're telling me that's curfew. We were livid. I'm not even like major, major Frank Ocean fan. Like I know all of his major songs. But I was with a bunch of Frank Ocean stands, bitch. They, like, cried. Like, that shit was so upsetting. And I was thinking, too, like, who... The caliber of performance of, like, Rosalia, Charlie XCX, they come out, they're on time, they do the full set, high energy, dancing, all the bangers, like, Coachella, let me... You know, whatever. For Frank to do that, it was like, what a fuck you. Yeah. It's kind of kind of slay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of sick, it, honestly. Yeah, he kind of, like, <laughs> ate us up. <laughs> but it's fine. Uh, that's, that's the crazy thing about his like the state that he's at in his career where it's like it almost like fuels the fire like how bad he treats his fans they love it <laughs> like it's like he hasn't been seen since like the met gala last year or the year before or whatever yeah. i don't i don't know i don't know if this is true i'm not like a stand of his either but like he hasn't put out new music in years mm -hmm. he hasn't put out a new album in like seven years mm -hmm. or something and this is the first performance he's done and for that to be it it's yeah like, girl period yeah <laughs> okay, okay yeah yeah but then it's like oh but this is part of his shtick it's like yeah yeah he's like supposed to be this like tortured artist guy that you can like never count on so for him to do this people are like oh this is you know like i hate how he treats me but it's like i'm i'm coming back for more that's so maddie healy of him <laughs> yeah his maddie healy era yeah by the way i don't know if any of these observations are even remotely i like i like i said i'm not like close to the situation at all i mean me it either. just seems like a really shitty thing to do it was but it was also the more we thought about it because we were pissed in the moment it was oh my god i have never been i've been to a lot of festivals in my life it was dead silent we were waiting like what the fuck is he doing what is he going to do and he was doing the dj set whatever and half of the time he was turned away from the audience just like on the piano, whatever, like not even looking at the audience. And you thought it was like building up to something? Yeah, no, and he just like never turned around. And then the one time Everyone's he addressed like, the crowd. Happening. It's finally happening. Yeah, the one time he addressed the crowd, he was like, shh, everyone shut up. And he was talking to the mic and he was like, I don't want to fucking be here. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. That's awesome. He was like, I don't want to do this and I don't want to be here. All right, play white Ferrari. <laughs> and we were like, period, okay. But that's such a fuck you. It's so disrespectful, too. I don't the thing, know. I was thinking about this. Like, people say that he's, like, the best finesser in the music industry because he, I don't know if you know that whole finesse he pulled on, like, Apple Music or his old no. label. No, I don't know anything about that. When he came out with Blonde, he was, something like, he was, this is, like, when Apple Music was first coming out. Mm -hmm. And they did a big deal with Frank where they were paying him a fuck ton of money to release his album uh, exclusively on Apple Music, but he was locked into a deal with his old label for one more album. Mm. So he made Blonde, but then he also made this like exper experimental, experimental like visual, ex exper experiential, experiential, ex ex exponential. I think is yes. that's the word. He Dark. made an exponential album. <laughs> Gorgeous. Yeah, uh, it was like a, I forget what it was, but it was, you know, it was it didn't seem like he put much work into it and it was like one long song or something like that and he basically put them out like minutes from each other so that the first one would get him out Damn. of this deal and then the second one would he so he got the money for both basically Period. and people were like dude he's so like savvy that's so crazy so to for a person like that to like kind of pull the tortured artist card and be like i need everything to be perfect and Nothing ever is, so I can't perform my art. Like, I heard he was kind of, like, throwing tantrums backsta backstage yeah. and stuff about, like, the set design. Yeah. It's like, but you are savvy enough to know what your fans want. Yeah. They just want to hear your songs for the first time in fucking nine years. Right. They just want to see you, too. Like, that's so much of it is like, oh, my God, he's right there. Yeah. And for him to have his back turned the whole time and never move from the kind of, like, intersection of the stage was like, fuck. Damn. But... I don't know. We left halfway through because <clears throat> I was like, this sucks. <laughs> I was like, I don't know about you guys, but this fucking blows. I want to go home. And so we left. So you didn't see the end of it? No. Oh, okay. I saw it. We saw it on Twitter um, a few minutes later. Like we were in the car and it was like Frank Ocean has cut his set oh, early. Okay. They were like, 
and the quote of they're telling me that's curfew. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's Whatever. not on me. Not on me. <laughs> Those fuckers, man. Yeah. I'm just as pissed as you guys are. Yeah, I'm right there with you. <laughs> Why did you fucking show up two hours late? Yeah. Oh, it's just such a bummer. I got to leave right now. <laughs> Damn. Oh. You got that invoice, though? You yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. right to me. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, <laughs> man, but before I leave, like, you know, slip me that cash. But, like, I'm fucking bummed I got to yeah, go. Sorry. <laughs> We're going to take another quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Factor. Spring is in full swing, and that means you'll need wholesome, convenient meals to energize you for warmer, active days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit, can help you fuel up fast with ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, and tackle everything on your to-do list. There's nothing worse than waiting in long lines at the grocery store, but with Factor, you can skip the line, chopping, prepping, and cleaning up, too. Factor's fresh, never-frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy, then get back outside and soak up the sun, baby. Factor offers delicious menu options each week to fit a variety of lifestyles from keto to calorie smart, vegan plus veggie, and protein plus. It's prepared by chefs and approved by dietitians. Each meal has all the ingredients you need to feel satisfied all day long while meeting your goals. With 34-plus chef-prepared, dietitian approved weekly options, there's always something new to try. Plus, you can round out your meal and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45-plus add-ons, including breakfast items like our delicious apple cinnamon pancakes and bacon and cheddar bites. And if you're looking for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold-pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. Not only is Factor cheaper than takeout, but meals are ready faster than restaurant delivery in just two minutes. This may get Factor and enjoy clean eating without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. Ready in just two minutes, no prep, no mess. Head to factormeals.com slash insane40 and use the code insane40 to get 40% off your first box. That's code insane40 at factormeals.com slash insane40 to get 40% off your first box. But other than that, I don't know if I'm going to do Coachella next year. It's a lot. Yeah. Like, it's a lot. You didn't go this no. year. What's Cody, Cody was near it, and he didn't go. Period. Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was, this is a, f well, like, I'm always, like, so. <laughs> Sorry. I'm on this look, sponsored by Coca-Cola. <laughs> um, no, so I, like, for every year, Kelsey's family goes to the desert for Easter break, mm -hmm. and so I've been going to that now for, ever since Kelsey and I have been together, so that was, but I didn't realize that Easter, like, changes. <laughs> I had no idea when Easter was supposed to be. I was like, isn't it like the third Thursday of every March or something? Canadian moment. They were like, no, that's Thanksgiving, <laughs> which I don't even know if that's what it is. The third Thursday of every March. <laughs> no, it's November, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the third Thursday in November, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So I was like, I thought it was that sort of deal. And they're like, no, it's... I don't know what it is still. I have no idea. But It's it... literally like 420, 421, 419. No, it's not. Maybe it goes, I don't even it know. It alternates. It goes like basically year by year. It yeah, basically you're right. shifts from the end of March to the end of April and then back. Yeah, you're right. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm lying. <laughs> I didn't. Like every year Easter just happens and we're all like, oh, yeah, okay, Easter. Hey. Good, it's good Friday? Yeah, Easter. You know what's up. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, don't. oh, yeah, at this time every year it Yeah, happens. and you know when the Christian uh, bunny has the chocolate. What? And gets the ash <laughs> and on gets, the forehead. Yes, and then there's palm leaves. It's the second Tuesday of every third March. And don't it's, forget it. It's not on a leaf year. Basically that. Uh, the e simple standard definition of Easter is that it is the first Sunday after the full moon that occurs on or after the spring. <laughs> what are the we, fuck kind of are we living in sorcery? <laughs> yeah, like gr Greek mythology time. Yeah, why and not just the pick a date? When the stars align just <laughs> right, <laughs> God will come. <laughs> what? I the had no first idea. Sunday after the full moon that occurs on or after, depending on Coachella weekend one or weekend <laughs> two. <laughs> when you have to have a VIP wristband. <laughs> yeah. What Only of. Yeah, yeah. Except for people with tier two artist passes. <laughs> when Frank Ocean is not playing. Yeah, yeah. So Easter changes. So like sometimes it's right after Coachella. So there there have been a couple times where. You know, we'll finish Sunday, and then on Monday, we just drive 10 minutes to go see her parents, and I'm, like, completely brain dead. Yeah, it sounds like Like, I've basically situation. lobotomized myself, Yeah, and I got to go, like, see my in-laws, which yeah. at the beginning of our, our relationship was, like, a big deal. Yeah. You know, showing up and not being able to say an English word 
is a little embarrassing. So hungover. And they're like, so this is the guy you're dating. And I'm like, that doesn't happen. (laughs) They're like, is he... (laughs) (laughs) is he not from here like, is, what's going on? is he what <laughs> canadian yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like mom he's not from here yeah he doesn't um, understand but so this so this year it so happened to be like right before so like it's a week so and the place that we stay is like a lot of people stay there for the festival so come thursday friday it's like people are filing in and everyone's like Damn. fired up and it's the first year I like just didn't have FOMO at all. I was like, oh, you guys go have fun. But like I we had like on Friday we'd like cut through the line of people waiting for the shuttle. Yeah, fuck. To like off. get from the pool to back to our room. And it's like everyone's in their gear. Oh fuck. And everyone's like, you know, dressed up and everyone's like so fired up first day of the festival. And I'm like, excuse me. So where y'all were staying was a shuttle stop? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, a so bunch of got... drunk twenty year olds. Yeah, so we saw yeah. Were they all like, Cody, are you joining? You coming? <laughs> no, there was a couple people that, you know, recognized me. Like, oh, what's up? ACL is the one to go to, though. ACL slick. Fun. Yeah. I had a blast. And good barbecue there, too. I mean, look, it's also beautiful. Like, Zilker Park, it's fucking hot, but it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And we usually stay, <laughs> there's this one area that we stay in that's like, a 30 minute walk probably so like by the end of that weekend it's like i've walked like 30 miles yeah i mean which is not a lot hey nothing. <laughs> that's absolutely nothing but you're going to stagecoach with connor in a couple of weeks I am with the fibs wow I am. why <laughs> no honestly actually stagecoach <laughs> sounds fun well because you want to know why is because Fibs and I will never admit this out loud, but I mean, you can look at me and know that it's true. We yeah. love country music. Yeah. So I kind of like our little friend group is very um, SEC. Like everyone kind of went to an SEC college. And so uh, I feel safe <laughs> being like, yeah, I want to see Chris Stapleton because yeah, he's yeah. incredible. Yeah. So I got artist passes to that. And I am so fucking pumped because it's like I don't have to kind of deal with the crowd. Um, it's comfortable. There's less people. There's only two stages. Yeah. And uh, they let you bring in those collapsible, like, soccer mom chairs. And so we buy those <laughs> from the local oh, Walmart. That's great. And we park our asses in artist section, and we're there all day. And it's like that free bar right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So you just, I mean, it's fantastic. You get spit on if you bring one of those to Coachella. No, yeah. <laughs> well, it's also like... Influencers will walk by and spit on you if you're sitting in a <laughs> fold-up chair. I get the one with the little baby sun visor. It's great. Yeah, it's sick. It's so, so fun, much fun. So yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah, we're we're going because he loves country music. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Ooh. Who would who would listen to that? Yeah, that's. So I don't listen to country music, but I, I definitely I appreciate. I don't even really. I. It. it you lying? What? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I've been listening to a lot of EDM remixes of country music songs. There's Morgan Wallen EDM. Yes. EDM. Fuck off. Honestly, there's this one song. It's by, uh, the remix is by Vavo, V-A-V-O. Volvo? Volvo. It, it's actually huge on TikTok, this song. It's all over TikTok. It's a country song? Last night. Na, 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 oh, yeah, that is Morgan Wallen's But song. the EDM mix, you've heard it. Maybe. You probably have. You're on a different side of TikTok. We are on very different sides of TikTok. You're on Look a, it up. You're on an EDM TikTok. Can you play shit on here? Yeah, we can play it. We'll just edit it so we don't get copyright. Uh, uh, last night V V A V O remix. Volvo remix. The Volvo. It's the Volvo remix. <laughs> the labia. These Menora guys are from remix. Vag, North Carolina. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the most cliche. Like, mm-hmm. just fast forward to the drop. <laughs> No, I've never heard this. Well, it's not the drop yet. Oh. What if you recognize it? <laughs> this is so like Vegas pool remix. I, that's exact. That's exactly why I I played it in Vegas. That's your vibe. Yeah. yeah, very very that. That was so cool, by the way. Thanks. You play like that crowd was so big. Were you so, like? I feel like you're being sarcastic. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I'm not. I swiped up and I responded. Are, are you getting story. me back for me saying I'm excited to listen to your show? Yo, you being Yo that was so cool. So cool, by the way. <laughs> yeah. a lot of Dude, the crowd looks so big. Yeah, definitely keep doing that. <laughs> He's a micro DJ. 
<laughs> hey, it's mean. In that, I play very short songs. That's right, 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 right. right. Yes, <laughs> just TikTok viral clips. Yes, one after another. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I swiped up. I said that's so fucking cool. Oh yeah. And what did? Well, no. What was the? I swiped up and said something. Uh, I don't remember. Dylan did something to you. Chicken, the chicken, chip chicken nuggets, or the uh, sunscreen, or something. Perhaps he was. He was all. He was doing all sorts of gags. He's a crazy girl. He's a crazy <laughs> wacky fella. Can't take him anywhere. Yeah, seriously. Um, but yeah, it was fun. It was a good time. But yeah, yeah that's the next fun. thing I'm gonna do is just DJ TikTok clips. I mean, that just would fade in and out of six second, seven second clips. I would listen. There's Honestly. there was this clip that went crazy. so viral on ew ew. <laughs> <laughs> went so viral on tiktok ew dude look at us what are we fucking saying I wait mean, for the drop wait yeah. for the drop <laughs> I come on this dude this time. is gonna be viral as fuck <laughs> come to TMZ. wait for the drop <laughs> it's lit <laughs> yeah yeah every time i come to tmg i'm like 35 immediately <laughs> i just age god damn it i am 35 wait right now <laughs> wait 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 i gotta tell you uh that we're <laughs> So we're like, I'm talking to uh, my assistant, Jesse is, uh, I don't know how old she is, but she is, I think she's Gen Z. Mm -hmm. And so we're in a group with Kelsey, me and her, right? And she sends, we were talking about Frank Ocean earlier. So then she sees the headline of Frank Ocean pulling out of Weekend 2. Mm -hmm. So she sends that. And then she sends the news that Blink-182 has been replaced. And Which she was like, crazy, by the way. yeah, and we're like, this is sick. And she was like, my FOMO has been reversed or something. And I was like. <laughs> She, Wait, you don't like Blink-182? And she just goes, millennial cringe. And I was like, oh. Damn, got your dumb. Oh, what? I love Blink-182. Like, literally. <laughs> the, oh, if I in the room. Oh. <laughs> if no. I could describe to you the feeling I got yeah. watching the clips from Weekend 1 of them doing, like, all the... Oh, yeah. Dude, I was... Like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was like this wave of, like endorphins and nostalgia all at the same time i was like i wish i could have been there so bad that was the only thing that was like i wish i went to that do you feel that way about like t-pain as well oh god yeah honestly yeah <laughs> like if dude <laughs> a t-pain like set i would go to that yeah that'd be good imagine blink when a t-pain <laughs> I, I don't want to <laughs> Uh, I'm good on that. Imagine Blink-182 doing punk covers of T-Pain songs. I'm okay. I mean, that sounds like a wet dream. That would slap. <laughs> I was talking to this guy recently who was like, like wants to be MGK so bad. And I was like, maybe I'm not into this. Because he, he loved pop punk. And I was like, that's just like such a specific era that I was never really a part of. So I, yeah. I don't have any nostalgia for it. I respect it at an arm's length. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fair. 1975 are fucking good, though. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, no, they're really good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but uh, I feel like there's a difference now between... I, I don't feel like MGK is like... Tr I don't know, like trying to make it like super like emotional and like it's almost like the... I don't even know, like the My Chemical Romance type. Well, Blink-182 is more like joke and fun and just like... Yeah. They were like comedians. Half comedians, half... Like, did you hear what 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 uh, Tom said in the middle of his set? He's like, between songs, he was like, oh, man, there was a Dalai Lama kissing booth back there. I would not recommend going to that. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> and they fuck around. Like, that's what they've always done. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, when you, when you, if you went to one of their shows, it was like half comedy. Yeah. Um, but I feel like MGK is like very like, no, I take this very seriously. And that's what makes it cringe. I feel like looking back at like Blink-182, like... MCR and like Pierce the Veil and all that it was so like it's camp now almost because it's like with the hair and the everything it was such a moment because they committed but they could also make fun of themselves with MGK it's like what do you mean you drink Megan Flox's blood what do you mean by that yeah like that's you're fucking weird it could work though for like there are Drinking like it blood? Just, yeah, yeah. Does it work? <laughs> Does that do anything? Guys, yes. if you look under your desks, we have pints of beer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I need, that's the science behind I need to try something for these stomach issues, so maybe that'll help. <laughs> Lube up the two. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I just mean, like, when, like, I don't know, when the real emo bands were having their moment, like, you know, the millennial ones, it was like, we all were way younger. So it was sure. like, oh, we're feeling everything. Thanks. So, like, this works. So I wonder for his fans, like, does, does it have that same effect? I, we're like, his lyrics fucking... Oh, try to find everything one. that I'm going through right now. Try to find one MGK fan and ask. Can't do it. 
challenge impossible. Yeah, but he plays to like big ass rooms. And who's there? I don't know. I've never met a person that's like, I love MGK. Ever. Actually, I went to, no, that's not true. I went to emo night. Okay, well, that's if you're at emo night. And there was a lot of people there that were very excited when he showed up. Period. Yeah. Is emo night fun? Uh, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I like, like, you know, if it's throwbacks and stuff, like, yeah, it's like that same sort of mm-hmm. feeling. But I was sober when I went to this one. Fuck. So it was a lot of, like, really sweaty people. I chimed in with you. Yeah. Ever heard of? Yeah. Ever heard of? <laughs> the time that or, uh, We're going know. down, down, and up. <laughs> <laughs> you Irish exit again in the Uber. You leave Kelsey. It's <laughs> a recurring bit. I Irish Uber. I Irish Uber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Shishai, do you want some gum? <laughs> it's a preference. Irish, please. <laughs> and no talking. <laughs> Silent drive, but oh, with an Irish. for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's the crack for fuck's sake? <laughs> it's for Cardia. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go scroll back up. I have something to address <clears throat> with you. Yeah, that. What? A top one. You got a new camera? <laughs> <laughs> Under that. What did it say under that? <laughs> that. What does that entail? <laughs> do you want to read it out? <laughs> <laughs> what, does, what does being in your Cody Co. era entail? Did you put this on the dock? No, I think we need the clip. Zach, can we play the clip first? Yeah, should we play the clip? The hyperlink. <laughs> That's me? <laughs> I got a new camera, camera, camera. I'm literally Cody Co. I say that every video. This is my Cody Co. era. I have my golden <laughs> juicy black. Wait, what does that mean? Insane, That's what we want to know. Yeah, back. exactly I'm what we want to know. Scroll back Insult. a little bit. No, okay. <laughs> Fuck you, by the way. <laughs> Keep going. Camera, camera, camera. I'm literally Cody Co. I say that every video. This is my Cody Co. era. I have my golden juicy black. I have a YouTube new insane. And I'm screen recording on my MacBook. That. <laughs> Also, I think I'm going bald. I, whatever okay, you can stop it. Here, Watching like, myself. What about most... that? Okay, so like OG Cody Co. When you had that fucking, I don't know what house that was. <laughs> Me tracking where you live. One of my many. One of your many properties. Um, <laughs> where you had that framed picture of like lean in a shopping basket. Yeah, yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. that, and then you had some of your first YouTube plaques on the wall, and I remember looking at that and being like, "Wow, he made it," because that was right after Vine a little bit. Like a few years after that, and like you getting the hundred k plaque and then the million and then the five million, I was like, that is to me a successful internet creator. Like he kind of has surpassed that threshold of, oh, I used to follow you on da da da. Yeah. You know, it's like you are a solidified whatever. Not me like sucking your metaphorical dick. It's just like it's very, <laughs> you know, like there are a few creators who have managed to do that mm-hmm. who are like, oh, I know him and I still watch him. Oh. And so for me. When I got my million plaque, I was like, holy shit. And I like hung it and I, they sent me that neon sign and I was like, this feels so legitimate to me. And it's such a like, I felt very kind of proud of myself, but also like to be respected as a creator of that size is crazy because I never thought that I would do this as a job. So I was well, like, congrats. Cody Clara. Thank you so yeah, much. Congratulations. congratulations. Yeah, it's, it's cool, but it's also very daunting because it's like, I got to do this forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're like, this is cool, so what's next? Yeah, I so, guess I got to keep doing it, So huh? what's up with you? Yeah. <laughs> when I got that, because I always would see the plaques in the background of people's videos and be like, ah, oh, that's fucking corny. Until you get one. And then I got the <laughs> plaque and I was like, so where should I hang this? Thing? <laughs> like, You're holding it the well, whole time. I want time. people to know I got it, so. Yeah. And then when when that five mil hits, because that's the diamond one, right? Ten. Ten. Fuck. Yeah. All right, well. It's not you. Yeah, no. It's not even close. Yeah, you you wouldn't know anything about that. To Cody Co. Yeah, please, <laughs> Cody really needs your support. Guys. Yeah, we got to get to 10 million, guys, so I can hang that diamond plaque right here. <laughs> Just nail it into the TV. <laughs> <laughs> not the OLED. Oh, no, we would. This is a new background, though. It's kind of chill, right? It's insane. It, that was and fucking, chill. That was good of us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, just chilling with insane people. Yeah. 
But yeah, that was, I keep saying, I've said that in like three videos. Also, you picked the most annoying video I've ever made to show. So what the fuck, guys? Oh, um, weird. Wait, was that <laughs> not, on, not on purpose? I will oh. talk to the team. I don't know who did No, that. I'm just like, um, maybe it's like watching yourself on camera. It's just yeah. like, maybe I should stop. Yeah, so so that wasn't new? Or you like, when? What? how many subscribers are you at? I think 1.2. So you just got it? Like they, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, a few months ago. So you're going to keep it there? Until I move, yeah. I don't know. I'm like, I actually don't want to say where I live, but it's like, <laughs> no, actually, just yeah, say it. Fuck wanna... it. Just, okay, just, well, just give us your address. <laughs> like, it's fine. Um, I want to live alone in the future, so I'm gonna move and I'm gonna do a whole kind of like the goal is to have a, a studio space to film YouTube and then a different room to have the podcast oh, set nice. in. So when that happens, I'm gonna kind of like invest more money into an actual like this is where I film YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Three point lighting, um, <laughs> uh, a tripod maybe. A, a tripod. A tripod. You should try getting multiple. <laughs> Cody's got a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. I do. It's yeah. too much for me. I love them. I collect them. Collect tripods. Yeah. yeah. USB powered tripods. So what is the power? Are these, power. Are these? What are the? What does the power do? They're in one of your videos. Your your watchers will know. Your audience. Will oh, okay. Know. I didn't even know about. what I said in my own video. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Do you know what this tastes like? In college, I used to drink this with Fireball, Coke Zero. Yeah, yeah. I'm like tasting it in the back of my throat right now. And it's like, we might need to take a potty break <laughs> <laughs> to go vomit. We're, I've been drinking a ton of, uh, not I mean not a ton, but I, I was on vacation for a week. So I've been, I was drinking a ton of rum and diets. Oh. <laughs> I know, it's, I know, but it ta it's so good. Because in my mind, that's like Malibu rum. But you're probably drinking like. No, Kraken one fifty one. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, it's uh like just Bacardi. Okay. And Diet Coke. Okay. It's. I mean, it's like, like I used to drink it. I feel like in high school when I first started drinking. Yeah. It's like what I would like because it's like the only drink you know is like rum and coke. Sure. And so now it kind of feels. I don't know. It gives me that same Blink One Eighty Two feeling. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you could like usually to punch a wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need to punch through some uh, plaster. Just desperately clinging on to my youth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I recently learned? I was with Jack and Anan, our our bestie. Yeah. Uh, this past weekend, and uh, oh, he was there. He was at Coachella. <laughs> learned that a dart is a cigarette. Yeah. I thought a dart was a joint. No. Why would you come up with a name for a cigarette? That's stupid. <clears throat> no, it's a great name. A dart, hacking darts. That's like the no, best phrase. Ripping a dart, that is a joint. No, it's not. <laughs> Me telling you. Yeah, it is. It's a sig. No. Hacking darts. Hacking it's the best. darts. Yeah. You ever hacked a dart? <laughs> <laughs> you ever wu tang a dart? No. <laughs> Does it look like I have? Dude, smoking cigarettes is the best. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I had a cigarette right now. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> Polishing off a pull pork sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> dessert is a cigarette. I did I tell you? Oh yeah, yeah, I met his girlfriend at that party. That we, yes. Did we talk about that already? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I heard through the grapevine. Yeah, we didn't because that was the party where you were like, "I'm gonna come on and." Yeah, and when go. I harassed you drunk, and then Kelsey right after that. Yeah. 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 Hey, like, good memories. Come on over, and now we made it happen. And we ate sandwiches, and but yeah, she's really funny. Veronica? Yeah. She's she's really, really great. She's like in a TV show too. Is she really? Yeah, very successful. Good for hey, her. Hey, W for Canada. Yeah, seriously. We're just keep yeah. we just keeping keep <laughs> stacking <laughs> W's. <laughs> Sorry, I hacked a dart on the way in the car on the way over here and I'm like, I got a crazy head buzz. You know what I fucking <laughs> tried recently? Have you guys ever seen these B free blue like little blue shots? It's called B free. Look it up. Is it liquor? No, it's not liquor. It's like, it's supposed, it's a, <clears throat> what's the word? Botanical drink, not botanical, because that just means like floral, right? Mm hmm. It's like a new, it's like, a, not nootropic. Um, yeah, that thing, Zach, the blue one. Feel free. Girl, what oh, the fuck is that? Oh, it is botanic. That? Botanic drink, right? So I bought this in a fucking smoothie store. <laughs> okay. It, there's, it's a, it's a, like a crate of them are just sitting by the cash register. What do you right? mean a box of twelve is ninety five dollars? <throat> okay, right? Fuck off. So you're like, dude. wait, what is this thing? And you look at the thing. It's a plant. It says plant based tonic, right? You turn it around. It says like a bunch of shit about like the herbal, you know, benefits or whatever. Mm -hmm. 
it has kratom inside it, which yeah. is like oh, Jesus, <laughs> Cody, which is like an opiate, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, they're selling these fucking things at the smoothies. You can buy them at any single, any like uh, health food store. They sell these. Erwan sells them. No. Holy shit! What? And so I drank half of one of these things because before I, I've had a, I've had multiple people that don't drink anymore tell me that these are a great. Uh, it has re- crack in it. Replacement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, it's an awesome replacement for drinking. Like if you go out, it makes you feel like a little bit euphoric, but you don't have to drink and you don't, all it takes is like a half of one and then you don't feel hung over the next day. Okay. So I bought one of these things and I was like, oh, it was yesterday. It was like, you know, doing some busy work. So I was like, fuck it. It took half of this thing. And I'm like, uh, like I felt like high, definitely high on something. Right. Hands are shaking. Yeah. Like I felt like. Usually, like, I don't know, when I'm not expecting how a drug's going to feel, it gives me a lot of anxiety. So yeah. I just felt like I was kind of high on weed or something. I just was like, fuck. Like, it felt like a nicotine buzz that was like, you know, times 30. And so I'm like, I wonder, I wonder, like, what other people's effects or how these affect other people. So I search, like, feel free uh, experience or something, Reddit. Uh-huh. And I pop on this thread with 600 comments about people getting hopelessly addicted to these things. Because it has kratom kratom in it right? yeah how, how it's an opiate percentage? and people are like i'm up to drinking 20 of these a day oh, no. Fuck off. and i've lost 30 pounds and i uh, i don't look the same anymore and i need to quit but i can't it's fucking oh. crazy <laughs> well, can you pull up what's the percentage does it say what are the like nutrition do you bags? know the percentage of kratom that it should no i just want to i'm curious if it's if how strong are, are these fuckers d- yeah so actually where can you buy them yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I usually fuck around with ten percent kratom. Yeah, I got. I have limits. Search "feel free drink" Reddit. Lawsuit? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Lawsuit. Well, that's what I was thinking. I was like, "There's no way these are going to exist in five years." Yeah, this one. It's like gas station dick pills. Okay, three hundred and sixteen comments. Look at this. Are there any support? This is the first <gasps> comment. Are there any support groups or is anyone interested in creating a support group? I've re- I've relapsed five times after taking eight a day. I'm down now, but I know community and the practices AA promotes are the way to dealing with why I would abuse my body, my career, and my family with my usage. If anyone out there has done this or has interest, I'd love to hear. Not a support group, bitch. It's fucking dark. And this I'm is- done with this crap. I'm spending almost two grand monthly on these shots and have to stop or I will have no job, girlfriend, or home. It's gotten that bad for me. Like a lot of these people are like addicts, Uh, like recovering addicts already. That's terrible too if you were saying like a lot of people who are trying to quit alcohol are using this as like a a alternative. Yes. Fuck off. That's even more addictive than fucking drinking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Damn. Yeah. People, uh, I know like a lot of people like ex- you know, addicts will use, especially the people that have done like heroin and shit like that. They use kratom as like a way to keep themselves off. Yeah. In just like the pure form. I don't know how legitimate that is because it still seems like a, you know, like a alternate opiate, basically. Yeah. But I mean, it was crazy to, to me is that they're advertising these like it's like a health drink. That is wild to sell it. <laughs> you said smoothie shop, and I was like, oh, smoothie king. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the most, go there. I don't know. They might sell them. Like there. unhealthy there. smoothie yeah, shop. Yeah. It's not like an Erewhon <laughs> Smoothie King is like, do you want extra like shit powder? Soft serve ice cream in there. You want your frappuccino? No, Wait, it was, uh, it was the um, Sun Life Organics. Mm. You know that one? Nope. Okay. They're like <laughs> the most you. like Malibu. Like the guy who started it used to be a meth addict. Actually, this is a true story. He was a fucking, he was homeless. He was addicted to meth. And he somehow like, turned his life around and started this smoothie shop like at the same time and it became this massive chain and now he's like a gajillionaire. Damn. And he's fucking selling these things in the store. How long do you think it'll be until that's illegal? Kratom or however you say it. I don't know, man, but I like I definitely was like, oh, I see why. Yeah. They sell it in Texas. I have some family members who are on it. My best friend took Kratom and had withdrawals, opiate withdrawals. Holy and like. Shit. It was like not after one time. No, no, for three months. Okay. Bit, why would it, why do you take it for three months? Because it's like a people call it like they look at it like a supplement, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. he did it. He, he used to take. He's like really big and works out a lot. He used to take ibuprofen a lot because his joints would hurt. Mm. And then his father in law was like, "Oh, I've been taking kratom. Why don't you take it? It helps like make you feel better." And so he started taking it for like three to four months. And then he went to Vermont and left his supply at home. And went supply. through awful withdrawals because he didn't take it for like a week and was and for like a month, like came out to visit me, was sweating, couldn't sleep, Holy like shit. opiate withdrawals. 
And like, it's really bad. Okay, so is that under the desk too? <laughs> <laughs> you look yeah, so I say all this to say, you gotta try one of these. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get on this. This is actually, thank you to Feel Free for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> 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 no, but I brought this up before, I think, on the TMG podcast, I think, because someone someone said, was like, oh, yeah, I drink, like, half of one of these a day, and, like, it really helps me focus or something, so I, was, I bought one. It's been sitting there for a while, but then I Googled it and, you know, saw, like, some Joe Rogan clip of him being like, yeah, this is essentially heroin, and I was like, yeah, I'm too scared to try this, and then for some reason yesterday, I was like, oh, fuck it, downed half, and then literally went straight to Reddit and found that thread, and I was like, I'm going to die. Oh, fuck. My life's over. I'm addicted to these things now. Oh, so I'm having a panic attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so you should try it. It's <laughs> How did we even Don't know. Uh Brittany, Cody's going to be going to Australia soon for his Ironman. Oh shit. Do you have any advice for him? We were hoping maybe we could come up with on the spot like a little mantra he could think of while he's on his bike that you've told him. Yeah. yeah. Um give up quit no stop <laughs> no this hurts ow 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 I, w- I don't know why i looked at you and i was like oh this is really gonna hit you gonna give me some inspirational <laughs> you thought it was gonna be helpful <laughs> like even if it was like you know funny not to say here's what but like some funny motivational advice i was like i'm gonna sure. think about this on the bike and then you were like Just give up and i was like fuck god damn it why, i can't think it this? that's the only thing i can't think yeah um uh, let me ask you this why <laughs> my dad <laughs> <laughs> what what the is the point? <laughs> okay, so that's what I'm gonna think. What's the point? I don't fucking know anymore. What's the point of life? Why yeah. am I doing this? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just I want to say I did it. You know. Okay. Period. Yeah. Well then, I just want ha- that tat. I want the tattoo. I oh the is Iron Man like you? It's it's not a triathlon. What is Iron yeah. Man? It is. It is. Yeah. You swim, bike, run. run yeah. A lot. You like, should get a, a tattoo of Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be funny if the tat, if the tat artist, the tat artist. <laughs> Ew. Like if if you said like I want an Iron Man tattoo and he like just fucks it up. Yeah. Spends like five hours and you're like, wait, this is supposed to be a small. It's just a logo and it's Perfectly like a full back. Perfectly shaded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, just Robert Downey Jr. You should, think- but not even iron, like not in the suit or anything. <laughs> just a what portrait. the fuck? <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, you should think about Robert Downey Jr. the whole time. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's what, I will. That'll He's help. He's a fellow short king. Yeah. Uh, what do you think when you're, other than like, ow, ow, ow? I trick my brain. So like I'll, uh, don't you ever, like, I don't know, if you ever like doing something for a while, you're like, oh, I'm, I'll, I'll finish up in 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Like it's how I trick myself into like working hard too. Mm. I'm like, just 20 more minutes of hard work and then it's over. And then you reach that point yeah. and you're like, I'll just do 20 more minutes. Like, I already came this far. Why not? What's a little bit more? Period. I just do that over and over and over again, and it's like a really easy way to trick your brain into doing really hard, arduous things for a long period of time. Interesting. Yeah. That's like the uh, <laughs> classic, like, Brent Rivera content. of like, okay, so there's 10 more minutes, but like 10 times four, that's 40. Remember that? No. Like, time left in class. When you're like trying to calculate how much time left you have in class, and it's like, I know it ends at noon. It's 11, 10 right now, so that's 40 minutes, or 10 minutes four times. Uh, was this like an old like <laughs> vine of his? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel so disgusting for quoting a Brent Revere. <laughs> hey, what the fuck, by the way? I don't know why in, that In like popped. a genuine way, too. You're like, oh, this is my favorite Brent Rivera joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll love this. It's a Brent Rivera vine. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, team. <laughs> I just saw some tweet about him, like, just plagiarizing people's thumbnails. Have you seen that? Thumbnails? No. Yeah. You know how, like, thumbnails are, like, a science, and there's, like, a bunch of Twitter guys that are all, like, analyzing thumbnails, and they design thumbnails, and they charge, like, a fuck ton of money yeah. for, like, breaking them down and designing them. So, like, they'll post, like, so basically, you know, they'll work really hard on, like, one thumbnail. When it performs, they're, like, you know, obviously very proud of it. And then Brent, like, the next week, Brent Rivera will have a video, and the thumbnail's the same. Period. <clears throat> like Google the one with that one. So that that video got like 10 million views, the one on the the smaller one. And thumbnail guys were or 5 million views from a new account. Oh shit. There's he- a new YouTube account that posted that video and the thumbnail was so good and the video maybe, but he copied it exactly. Exactly. Down to the fucking shirt color. Damn. He's so smart. <laughs> <laughs> we're just mad that he's doing it. Seriously. He's got to be 30 by now. 
Brent. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when you're late for school, Brent. He's ageless. He's, He's kind of in this like weird, you know, like per age purgatory. It's yeah. like, Where how long have you been in high school, dude? <laughs> it's just like keeps getting held back. <laughs> yeah. And he's kissing his sister. When you the literally, whole time, when you literally have children and you're still in high school. Yeah. P period. <laughs> Repost. Yeah. And you know the whole thing about him kissing his sister. I mean, I, I didn't that happen like a long time ago? Or I don't know. I'm thinking about prank invasion. <laughs> what was that? You never saw that. Sam Pepper. No, do you know prank, prank invasion? No. The dude that was like, uh, oh my god, like classic like H3 video, goofing on him. Oh my God! Search no, prank invasion. Hold up. You'll recognize him. Search prank invasion sister. <laughs> Kissing prank sister edition. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's a reaction. Wait, wait, go, go up. Second one. <laughs> you never seen this guy? No. Oh my <laughs> God! Kissing my actual sister. Wait, so why do you have to clarify like that? So everyone knows that she's actually my half sister. I have two half sisters and I have one full sister. So she's here and I'm gonna try to <laughs> kiss my sister. This is gonna be really weird, but I owe you guys something big. So hope you guys like it. Yeah. All right, guys. I am gonna ask. <laughs> How creepy is this? On a video, I just. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are you floored right now? I can't deal with this. Like right there. In her why is he sneaking so around? So wait, like, pause it. Live in the same house. Pause it. This guy was like famous, not famous, but like, you know, YouTube. What, like he was known on YouTube for doing these stupid fucking videos where he'd walk up to people and be like, um, like, it was like kind of like a kiss or slap thing. We might have to go back and like watch one of them, just like refresh my memory. But it was like these, it was like these planned prank videos where he would just end up making out with the main like girl and yeah, like, like the Santa subject Monica of the video. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they just have this like twenty second makeout scenes where the lav mic was like right here. So just, <laughs> In his mouth. You could just hear everything. You'd be like, how about a little kiss or something like that? Yeah. And so he was just, people would goof on him because, like, he's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, just yeah, so yeah. weird. And then he kept, like, having, like, one up himself because, you know, that's the only way people would watch. And then this is what he ended up doing. Well, play it. <laughs> I've been see trying, it. like, I've tried, like, five times to ask her, but I'm so nervous because <laughs> my sister, and it's like, I don't want her to think I'm crazy or anything. All right, guys, I feel like such a creep. I've literally been stalking my sister upstairs for like like the past hour for like literally like an so hour okay like lily i was gonna kiss my sister but i got nervous so now i'm just kind of walking around kind of kind of pop the question all right let's go upstairs let's go talk to her in the room i uh, dude i remember this do you remember what happened with that yes <laughs> what ew, happened ew, what doing? Girl, okay okay you guys think i'm the biggest prankster like on youtube my sister should have her own channel she's been pranking me since the beginning. This was my birthday, and I thought she was gonna buy me a cake. She does, but she smashes it in my face. Why would I ever just buy you a cake for your birthday? Because you're my sister, and you're supposed to like be nice to me. But anyway, there's there's dad. Why and... are you showing my picture? Should we not get show... out of my room? <laughs> I'll get out of your room. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, you guys. Oh, I, I finally <laughs> got the courage. To come up here uh, and ask my sister if she wanted to play. I'm like kind of just letting it play because it's just so wild. It's We're been a long time since I've seen this. 30 minutes of whatever we just shot. <laughs> Kratom, <laughs> kissing <laughs> sister. <laughs> Ryan and I are horrified over here. We're Googling this guy and it's like, um, he's just is it bad? Up. Well, it's not great. Yeah, it's he's uh, not a, like awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually physically watch it happen. Like, it's been too much build-up now. I can't. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Can we rewind it? Oh, that's what I'll do. He'll be like, if I win, <laughs> if, rock, paper, scissors, if I win, you owe me a kiss. I don't even know how to, like... How do I, like... I don't, like I don't even want to, like, hug you. I know. This, this I, I, know. I mean, it's fake. <laughs> no, it's not. They're not this... actually brother and sister. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay. They're ha it's, I don't know. Half-sister. That's like, his half-sibling. It's fake, dude. They were, were like, dating. <laughs> and they just made... They, like, you know... He was kind of early to like the step bro step sis, yeah. you know. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, well, I, I hope he monetized this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just got a viewer, sir. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you don't know. It's like a classic. No. This is like last episode when you showed me uh, what's his face. 
Oh. The um the, oh, the ten five. the top five. Chills countdown. Chills count. This is my version of that. Frank invasion. <laughs> Go back and Google this. Man. Ver- you know the last kind of thing that I knew about this whole prank culture on YouTube when I really clocked out was the Sam Pepper shit. Mm. And he like killed his best friend and then was like, it's a joke, it's a prank. And then the internet was like, what the actual fuck? Oh, wait, is wrong they, ki- with you? they kidnapped him, right? And they like, put him in a trunk. And then, yeah, and then brought him and Sam onto a rooftop and literally faked that he got shot in the head execution style. And th- his best friend had to sit there and go through all of the emotions of watching your friend die in front of you. And then to come out and be like, it was a prank. I mean, that's a good prank. <laughs> <laughs> Got him good, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look. Gotta Yo, give credit where credit's due. Wrecked. That's insane. It is one of the wildest things I've ever seen on the internet. What about Shit. the, uh, who were the two guys that were on like College Humor or whatever that would prank each other? Was Jake it pr- and Amir. Jake or, and Amir. Well, it was, was it? Amir and then uh, his, fr- it wasn't Jake. It was the other guy. Okay. I'll look it up. And yeah. they would, they had this like, you know, legendary battle where they would try to like one up each other in pranks. And one of them they did, they got like an entire basketball stadium in on it. It was like he, one, his friend, the person he was pranking got selected to do like the half court shot. And so he had the whole stadium cheer when he missed it. <laughs> like he did like the backwards like half court shot. And everyone went like, oh, he turned around and he thought he won like half a million bucks or something. I'm sure I'm embellishing, but, and then they were all like, no, it's a prank. You didn't, you didn't you hit lost. shit. Yeah. And then it ended, I'm pretty sure with, uh, one of the guys went skydiving and he got the people in on it to tell him that his it's his shoot wouldn't that work. is not so he literally okay. thought that he was like falling to his death oh shit <laughs> oh shit that's what i'm saying it's like it, it was a good was fucking prank years too like it started in february tw- 2007 it started with an audio prank where streeter tricks amir into listening to something to like disturbing music and it's i think it's like um porn sounds or something and develops into a skydiving prank where you think you're about to die like it's crazy and then they ended it after that right he was like i'm not doing this there's only eight pranks that's the crazy part about the internet is like i feel like that's the jake paul effect too of like they don't know when to stop david dobrik too like you don't know where that line is what is and is not content you yeah. know, like morally, what should you post and not post? Yeah, yeah, actually, when you get the plaque, you're supposed to stop. You're supposed to like <laughs> hang up the fucking jacket, retire. That's it. That's YouTube being like, you did it. Yeah. Go away. No more. <laughs> we're good. All right. Well, we're at 69 minutes. Perfect <laughs> place to stop. Let's go, bro. Let's go. This is going to be cut down to 20 minutes. Yeah, we had everything, man. We had drug addiction, <laughs> incest. This episode went crazy. Yeah. And a, and a crazy mukbang at the start, too. I'm going to drive home in silence. <laughs> <laughs> me, <Just> too. Thinking. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. What's your show's name again? The Broski Report with Brittany Broski. Go look it up. Subscribe to it. And look out for the first episode coming out next, next week. week. Thanks, guys. Peace. Again.